Welcome to Pantech eLearning. Today we are going to see the project Cascaded HBridge File Level Inverter by using Arduino. This is the block diagram for Cascaded HBridge Multi Level Inverter. Here, from the 230V main AC supply, 12V step down transformer is connected to power up the main circuit and TLP250 driver board. And for Arduino, we need 5 volt power supply. From Arduino, the pulse is generated. The generated pulse is given to TLP250 driver unit. And the TLP250 driver unit, which is used to amplify and isolate the pulse given from Arduino. And it will give the pulse main circuit. Turn on TLP250 driver unit, we need 12 volt step down transformer for each and every leg. And Cascaded H-Bridge Multi-Level Inverter is connected to R-Load and we can view the output by using DSO or CRO. This is the Arduino which we are using in this project. You can learn Arduino deeply by visiting our LMS portal of Pantech eLearning. TLP250 Driver Unit This is the circuit for TLP250 Driver. This driver unit is used to amplify and isolate the pulse which is given by the controller which is fed to MOSFET switches like MOSFET or IGBT and from the controller it generates up to 3.3 volt or 5 volt and after amplification it will amplify it into 12 to 15 volt without any change in frequency or duty cycle and this unit have gate production also. This is the image for TLP250 driver unit. Now we can see the comparison of pulses. This is the pulse given from Arduino. It's around 5 volt. And this is the pulse which is amplified and isolated and given to MOSFET. We can see the difference between these two pulses. This is around 5 volt and this is around 15 volt. This is the main circuit which we are using as cascaded H bridge multi level inverter. We can see there are two inverters which is connected. It's the pulse pattern we are using in this project. We are using two inverters, eight MOSFETs that are mentioned here as Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7 and Q8. And this is the pulse pattern. This is the total hardware image for cascaded H-bridge multi-level inverter. This is the main circuit and TLP250 driver board, Arduino, the transformer which is used to power up this TLP250 driver unit and this, this is also step down transformer which is used to give power up to this main circuit. Now we can see the working of this project. This is the hardware for cascaded H-bridge file level inverter by using Arduino. Now we can see the working principle. This is Arduino. This is TLP250 driver board and this is cascaded H-bridge. This is 12 volt step down transformer which is used to give power supply for this TLP250 driver board. And this is also 12 volt step down transformer which is used to give main power supply for these two H bridge inverters. For this main circuit we need 12 volt DC supply. By using this transformer we are providing 12 volt AC supply. After that we are using one of bridge rectifier which is used to convert AC to DC. After that we are using one capacitor. That is for filtering the DC to pure DC. Here we are using two inverters. Each inverter consists four MOSFETs. Totally eight. That's what we are using here. Eight driver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is 12 volt tapping transformer. 
12 volt step down tapping transformer for each and every leg it is giving individual power supply here we can count totally 8 tappings are there this transformer consists of 5 tapping and this consists of 3 tapping here Arduino will act as a pulse generator from Arduino the pulse is given to this TLP250 driver board this TLP250 IC which is mainly used for isolation and amplification from Arduino it generates up to 5 volt but for turning on this MOSFET switches we need around 15 volt the 5 volt pulse given from Arduino to TLP250 driver board and this TLP250 IC amplifies and isolates it up to 15 volt without any change in the duty cycle and frequency these two transistors will act here as Darlington transistor which is helpful for amplification and this LED will glow when the 5 volt pulses generated from Arduino is given to this driver board and these are the LED which on when these two transformer on here we are using the MOSFET IRF840 now we can see the connections and working now I am going to give power supply for Arduino yeah now we can see this LED get close when this Arduino connection is turned on now I am going to turn on this TLP250 main supply by using this transformer now we can see this LED will glow after connecting this now we can check the pulse from the Arduino this is the ground pin Yeah, now we can see the pulses from Arduino. This is the ground pin. I am going to connect the DSO probe. This is the pulse for the first pin. And now I am going to check in second pin. And now for third pin. Now for the fourth pin. These are the pulses given from Arduino. You can see here it's around 5 volt. Now we can check the output. Now we can check the output in TLP250 driver board. We can check the output voltage across these inner diodes. Yeah, now I am going to check across the first pulse. Yeah, now you can see the pulse from our while we are checking in Arduino it is shown up to 5 volt now you can see it is around 15 volt now I am going to keep the probe across the second terminal yeah you can see the second pulse now now I am going to keep across the third
there. Now I am going to turn on this main power supplies. This is the proof for this transformer to give the main power supply for these two inverters. Now I am going to connect it. We can set the output across this load resistor. Now I am going to connect the DSO probe across this resistor. Yeah, this is the final output for cascaded H-bridge 5 level inverter. This is the output of this project. We can see the 5 levels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the components which we are using in these projects. Arduino you know, TLP250 driver board, 12 volt step down transformer for driver board and 12 volt step down transformer for main circuit and 5 watt load resistor and we can provide the do it yourself package for that it contains Arduino and project coding TLP250 driver board record numbers and 12 volt step down transformer for main circuit and TLP250 driver board and 2 pin power card and 2 pin RMC cable GP board which is general purpose board and MOSFET we are using in this project is IRF840 and bridge rectifier, capacitor and 5 watt load resistor and we can give the guidance for 2 hours. For testing you need these 3 equipments multimeter, DSO or CRO and soldering end. In DIV packages testing equipments are not provided. Thank you for watching this video. You can contact us through this number or projects at pantechmail.com and you can visit our site by www.pantechelearning. Thank you.